Trevor Mallard has hung up his wig as Speaker and is packing his bags for Ireland. And this afternoon, Adrian Rurafe has been sworn into the role. Here's political reporter Amelia Waite. All rise for Speaker Adrian Rurafe. The Te Tai Hoa Uru MP sworn in today is Parliament's new referee. It's my expectation that the House will hold the government to account. And one of his uh, first you know, moves as new speaker, uh, shutting yeah. down former Labour MP Gaurav Sherma, now exiled to Siberia, alongside former speaker Trevor Mallard. The speaker said, well, you know, if you, if you raise anything about a Labour colleague, any challenges, it would be the end of your career. Have you finished? But I, w I want to point. I just want to say no, that... No, I'm, so you're not finished? I'm not finished. Yeah, we'll sit there then. Rudolph's reign marks the end of Mallard's. After 35 years as an MP, he leaves a complicated legacy. The father of the house is known for his love of bikes, break dancing, babies, and also, though, blasting bangers at anti-mandate protesters. Tress passing the former Deputy Prime Minister and, as an MP, his want for more moa meant more problems. Ones which I could pat on the head. But Mallard's determination to make Parliament more family and dog friendly and change its toxicity will live on after he leaves. Who can forget him holding babies in the chamber? Whoever's no doubt had his moments. I think it's much better that we have some of those people in politics and public life than bland robots. Mallard's been appointed as the next ambassador to Ireland. Trevor Mallard has had a, a more than 30-year career in politics. You don't spend that amount of time in this place without having a huge depth of understanding around New Zealand's priorities. Uh, wish him and wish the Irish nation good luck. The new speaker is going to have to work hard to restore the mana of the institution after Trevor Mallard's legacy. I think every single speaker have, has their own um, way of doing things. Adrian Rurafe is well liked by all parties and was elected as speaker unanimously. So his support couldn't be in more contrast to that of his controversial predecessor. Trevor Mallard mute today though, telling News Hub simply, nope, Adrian's day. Amelia Wade, News Hub.